guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642 and today I bring you a video of this 2016 Volvo S60. This one is a T5 Premier package and this one is also all-wheel drive. As you can see it's finished off in a beautiful flamenco red exterior which just looks great on this vehicle. Along the back you do have your dual exhaust as well as your S60 and T5 all-wheel drive badge on this side. As you can see, you do have your antenna up top for your radio, and along the back you have these very beautiful, distinctive taillight design. Right here is your fuel cap, and you do have some very mild chrome accenting around the windows. This one is riding on Michelin Primacy MX M4 tires, which are fantastic tires, and they're in great shape as well. They are 215.50 R17s, so 17-inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes, of course. As you can see, you do have intelligent key access on all four doors as well. And on the side, you do get turn signal indicators in the mirrors. As well as up front, do you get halogen headlights and LED accenting down below. So, we'll go ahead, step inside, start this one up. You do get your standard Volvo key with your lock. Unlock right here. This button will turn your parking lights as well as your LED accents below on. Do have a trunk release and panic. But coming up to the door, this one does have intelligent key entry. So all you have to do is come up to the vehicle, place your hand behind the handle, and it will unlock. And to lock, just touch right here. So step inside, start it up. This one does have the off black leather interior. Your Volvo door sills down below. And as you can see, even inside of the door sills, this vehicle's paint just has a beautiful metallic shine to it. Down here, you do have a full power driver seat with three-person memory. Go ahead, start this one up. All right, if you do, place your foot on the brake and push right here to start. And just for the sake of this video, I'm going to take the key and insert it into the slot right there. Inside of this vehicle, you do have a leather wrap steering wheel with very nice, high quality feeling leather, as well as your sport bolsters around here, and nice and tight power steering. Over here is your cruise controls, audio system controls. Along the door, everything is nice, soft touch material. It fits together excellent, as well as down here, you do have a nice padded leather armrest, all four automatic windows, power mirrors, power locks, all of that. Over here, Headlight controls, parking brake release, as well as your rear fog lights, fuel fuel cap release, and trunk release. Hood release is down there. Coming in the center of this vehicle, as you can see the display right here, you can change the different modes, and I promise it does not look that dark in person. It's just the way the sun is with the camera. But as you can see, you have your engine temperature on this side, fuel on that side, tachometer right there, and your shift indicator are over here. In the center, can go through and change the contrast mode, themes, messages, trip computer, service status, your different themes. You do have elegance, eco, and performance. Performance is my personal favorite, as well as the center display will kind of change the colors just a little bit. But as you can see right here, you do get the very nice large tachometer in the middle with the digital speed readout, and it's pretty precise as well. Along the center of the vehicle, this one does have the uh, standard Volvo Census uh, Connect system right here. Very nice, easy to use. Do have your uh, audio system, sound, all of that down here. Radio, can choose between AM, FM, Sirius, and Sirius Weather. Does have Sirius Satellite Radio. Telephone, does have Bluetooth phone. My car, you can go through different settings, things like that. This one is equipped with navigation as well. Very nice, simple, easy to use. You do have more controls for your web browser, things like that down here. Um, as I mentioned, all of your audio systems, Bluetooth, uh, auxiliary and everything. Down here, you do have dual zone, automatic climate control, heated seats for the driver and passenger. This button right here, press it, will drop both of the rear seats for visibility. And right here, this one is equipped with the six-speed automatic transmission with sport and manual shift mode. Back here, you do have two cup holders, 12-volt outlet and a very nice padded leather armrest. And inside of here, do have more storage, USB and auxiliary. Up top, does have Volvo's frameless rear view mirror, which is just a beautiful design. I love this in these vehicles. As well as back here, do have the uh, module for your city safety system. Your power sunroof controls up here, as well as interior lighting. 
And as I mentioned, the seats are very nice and comfortable. This interior is just so high quality and nice, and it is aged so well with this platform as well. So we'll go ahead, put the automatic driver's side window down, unlock all of the doors right here, and pop the hood right there. Stepping into the back seat of this S60, just go ahead and open it right here. That seat is a little bit further back than I would sit. I am 6'2". Go ahead and pop the headrest back up. But for what it is, especially a smaller luxury car like this, like I said, this seat is so much further back than I would sit and I'm 6'2". But you still have a nice amount of room back here. Even with it this far back, my legs aren't touching. But that's a more real example of the leg room back here on that side. In the center, do have your interior lighting controls as well as handles on each side with different hooks. Do have pockets on the backs of both seats right here. 12 volt outlet in the middle and on the door panel all of the material qualities do follow through with the soft padded leather power windows. You do even get vents built into the pillars right here. In the center do have two cup holders as well as some more storage. And overall the back seat of this vehicle is just a very nice place to be. Stepping around to the trunk, just go ahead, reach right here to open it. And as you can see inside, you do have an excellent amount of space. You do get both of your floor mats right here, as well as below that, you do have your fix-a-flat kit, uh, compressor, all of that, jack, tire iron. As I mentioned, both of the rear floor mats. The trunk is lined up top. You do have the emergency release right here, as well as it does have hinges, which is nice because it won't wear out like struts. And these don't interfere with your cargo at all. They go down into their compartments. You have a back seat release right here as well. It is a split folding rear seat. And overall, I think the S60 just has a beautiful design to it. It's a very nice, simple, but yet very luxurious car. And up front, you do get a full power passenger seat with power lumbar. Inside of here, you have all of your original owner's literature. Inside of this booklet right here, as you can see, everything is included with the vehicle. You have all of your uh, census navigation books, owner's manual, warranty booklets. Everything is inside of there and included with the vehicle. And another thing I did forget to mention about the S60 is it has this very nice brushed aluminum trim inside along the doors, around your vents, and in the center. It's just a very classy looking interior. And coming up front, this one is equipped with halogen headlights. And up underneath the hood, go ahead and release it right here. It is equipped with Volvo's 2.5 liter turbocharged inline five-cylinder engine. Go ahead, bring that back down. And we'll step back inside, cut this vehicle off. Excellent sound from that five cylinder. Go ahead, bring the automatic driver's side window back up, and go ahead, cut the vehicle off right here. Wheel chime, reminding you to remove your key, and put the headlights back in automatic mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond, here in Richmond, Virginia. 
If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.